Good morning, I'm Gary Winter. I'm a member of the uh, People Committee. And we're just about done with that train, I hope. Until the next one comes. Until the next one comes. I'd like to welcome you all to this gathering here this morning. Uh, we brought out the worst uh, our winter weather so far this year. But it's well worth being here. I think it's really significant as I, I thought about this last night because as we started this campaign to restore these people buildings back in the early 90s, some of our earliest and strongest supporters were veterans and their families. And they would come up to a uh, committee member and talk about their memories of leaving from this depot and the great western people down a block to the east. And they talk about the families coming with them, the families waving, and the the most joyful memories were coming back and coming around that bend of the west and seeing the depot turret uh, that was restored as part of this project also. So I think it's very significant uh, in a time that we're going to thank our veterans that were in a building that was a big part of their lives and their military lives and coming back, leaving and coming back. So thank you again for coming. I'm going to turn things over to the mayor for a few comments. Adam Schwerz. Thank you very much. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you for the invitation um, to be a part of this um, memorial, this dedication. Um, as Barry said, it's, it's really neat the different things that we've been able to do um, in, throughout the community and, and that you as veterans have um, done for us throughout the community uh, relating to our um, Veterans Park. And then we just dedicated a, a beautiful mural at the VA clinic uh, this last uh, couple weeks ago. And um, now we're putting up a flag here at, at the uh, depot, and it just it reminds us, it's a true testament of the fact that you gentlemen and, and, and ladies um, have served our community and the United States and protected our freedoms and, and given a lot of yourselves. And then you continue to do so once you come home. And, and the pride that you take in our community and the volunteer time and, and the commitments of your, your time and your talents and your treasures it's just it's just amazing and it's great for us as a community and we are so thankful to have you here and, and thank you very much on Veterans Day. Thank you, Mayor. I'd now like to introduce Wayne Zimney, a Depot Committee member and a, a, a BFW a Legion member. A Legion member. Legion member. Good morning and I guess Merry Christmas. <laughs> the way the weather is. Uh, quite a few years ago I was asked to join the Depot Committee and through a lot of years and effort of people and businesses and volunteers and a lot of money, we built the, uh, we got the depot restored and this building restored and they're both great. Uh, as it came to an end when the chamber was coming in here, uh, we were running out of money and there was two things in our bucket list that didn't get done and um, we're going to work on them. The first one is we are going to put a silhouette mural on the fence of uh, passengers getting on the train saying goodbye to a soldier that might be going off to service or war. That's the next thing I'm going to be working on. But right now the thing that we did accomplish through the help of a lot of people is the flagpole. I'd like to thank the Legion and the uh, War Memorial Committee, uh, which included the late uh, Merlin Mike Bruning, Don Gronsta, and Don Bernholz, where is Don? There he is, okay, for their effort to get us the money so that we could uh, get the flagpole paid for and installed by Nick Bating, who did a great job of working on it while I was on vacation. We also want to thank uh, Cody Earlbeck. Cody, where are you? Your hand up. Thank you very much for donating the granite that is on the, uh, the base of the flagpole and honors veterans who, and anyone who has served in the military to protect the freedom which allows us to have this kind of a ceremony and the freedom of life we have. Also Larry Boyce did the uh, engraving on the monument and Larry's over there and thank you to him for doing a great job on the monument. Lastly Nick Bating who did the installation, and not least, but also Sue Sherrod, who coordinated a lot of this effort between us guys who were basically shying away from it because we've given up a lot of our responsibility to the depot since the chamber's been here. Let's see, I think Larry, I think Larry. 
That's about it. Barry, back to you. Thank you, sir. One final speaker. We have the Chamber President, Aaron Jurgens. Thank you, everybody. I'm Aaron Jurgens. I'm uh, the Chamber President, like Barry said, and happy Veterans Day to everyone. And I'd like to have a special thank you to the 24.9 million veterans um, across the United States. It's a uh, really important. You don't really get to see all you guys until you're dressed up in your, your uniforms, but you are really integrated within our community in a very important part. So uh, I guess anybody that has been a veteran, go out and just say a special thank you or the guy down the hall or, you know, just thank all these guys here for doing everything they did have. Um, did a little research on Veterans Day and then, I mean, it was started back in 1919 by Woodrow Wilson and he actually all got started because he invited a bunch of uh, veterans into the White House to eat and uh, uh, the important thing is there was food shortages at the time. I guess they sat down and actually the first meal they had back was what they wanted was ravioli. So I don't know how many of you guys can have ravioli today, but I guess that was the food of choice. And uh, I just thought that was kind of interesting that that's what they did back. But uh, um, thanks a lot for everything. And it's a beautiful addition to our, I, I call this the Chamber Campus. So um, a lot of people have taken part in this. And uh, we really appreciate it. It's going to be a, a nice part for everybody to see, uh, you know, Spotlight and Carol. So thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Um, we will move outside now for the formal flag raising ceremony. Be very careful. Sue's probably going to be out there directing you away from all of the uh, wires that the Christmas trees are being held up with. But again, thank you all for coming. This was a good, good group, good number. We appreciate it. We'll move outside then. Thank you.